and uh, tonight we are going to show you a little bit of the action from last year's McCroom 10 mile road race but before we do that we'll have a word with about next year's event uh, with me here now is Mr Martin Coughlin who is chairman of the organising committee and Mr Tony Daly who is the secretary um, Martin how are things going for this year's event? Well um, we've been working with the last two months uh, organising the event for the show uh, really there's a lot of work attested uh, behind the scenes and um, well, last year we were we were fairly pleased with the with the turnout. Uh, our entry was up on the previous year, and uh, this this now is our or this year will be our fourth annual event, and we are hoping to increase the numbers again this year. And when exactly is the date for this year's Macomb Ten? Uh, June the twenty eighth. It's the uh, same we've uh, same date, the same weekend as last year, Sunday afternoon. And uh, the prizes for this event are they along similar lines as last year? Well, uh, every year we improve the prizes if we can. Um, Undoubtedly, the, the prizes for the McCombe tin are as good as you'll get anywhere. Um, this year we have prizes, the prize list is the, the first 10 men and the first 10 ladies. Uh, prize list for the vets, the vets this year has been increased, it has been tripled compared to last year. Uh, in the men's section, you have first, second and third over 40, over 45, over 50, first and second over 60. In the ladies, you have first, second and third over 35, over 40 and over 45 and first over uh, and second over 50 and for the local finishers you are the first four local men and the first four local ladies that's an increase of something in the region of uh, 17 prizes since last year oh, that's a very comprehensive prize list no doubt it cost a lot of money to buy these prizes how exactly is this event financed well um we are very lucky in so far that the, the we have a uh, 10 or 11 firms around the town who are uh, sponsor Sponsors each year, um, mainly, uh, don't okay. mainly um, we 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 have road markers, the ten mile road markers, which uh, we asked them to sponsor. We put the name of the film on it for uh, for um, fifty quid. It costs fifty pound for uh, for uh, for the sponsor marker. Now we've been very lucky over the past four years or three years. This is the fourth year with uh, these films. They have they have been very cooperative, and we hope that they will be as cooperative to show again. And uh, what sort of a local interest have you run or wise? And is it a bit late now to be getting started for this year's race? Well, um, yearly the local interest has been getting stronger and stronger. Uh, last year we had over 30 local runners in the McCroom tin. That was a, a, an increase of a 100% from the year before. Uh, this year we are uh, trying to improve again on, on local runners. And we have organised over the past month, we've had sessions on Wednesdays and Friday nights starting at 8 p.m in uh, St. Cormans Park. Now it's for, it's for male and female runners. And so far, the female runners have been very few and far between, but I think this is due mainly to the to the cold, wet weather that we've had so far this year. We'd be hoping that for over the next month or six weeks that a lot more people will come along to these sessions. Now there is no problem in, in getting involved. You can contact Tony Daly, uh, St. Cormans Park, who is the secretary of the McCroom 10, and he will tell you uh, what time and where to to meet, and um, we hope to see a lot more a lot more local runners coming along and starting to train. They have two months left until the until race date, and that's plenty of time to train for 10 mile or for 10k. And uh, I don't think there's any excuses for local runners that uh, that they, they can come out now and join in the session and a group and train. Thank you, Martin. Well, Tony, as well as, love, well as being a secretary of this road race committee, I believe that you're also. How that training for the Belfast Marathon? Could you tell us a little about that? When exactly is it? That's yes, correct, yeah. The Belfast City Marathon on um, 50 May. 50 May. The bank holiday in England, Monday the 50 May. Well, sorry, the 4th of May it is this year, isn't it? The 5th last year. I did last year uh, and was very pleased with it. I had run the London Marathon a, a fortnight before that and then turned on to do the Belfast one and I ran. 2.55 in Belfast and I was very pleased with it and this year the forum up to now has been pretty good as late as last Sunday uh, I ran 56 for 10 miles which I was very pleased with the personal best and I'd be hoping to even maybe break 2.50 in Belfast this year for what, the Belfast. what is your personal best for the marathon Tony? 2.49 in London last year is my personal best for the marathon and how many have you run? Uh, this Coming Belfast Marathon will be my sixth in two and a half years. And do you find it hard to keep the training going and do all this work for the McCroom Tin at the same time? 
Yeah, it's pretty busy, hectic schedule out right now, though, just to get them all, to keep it all going, you know, especially at this time of the year now, we're coming up to the Makoom 10, you know. So everything is going according to plan for both uh, your marathon and for the race? Keeping the fingers crossed, yeah, definitely everything is looking, looking good. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Cochran and Mr. Daly, thank you.
you don't know who I've caught. Marion Lyons, the third lady home, Marion Lyons up there, Finn Bath, Dolby, Cork. This is all the of course. Here's our friend without the shirt coming through.
Time 59.19, just under the hour.